Welcome back for part two of the 96 Trans Am detail. This is the car that in part one we went and got, trailered home, uh, did a quick walk around to kind of assess the condition it was in. Uh, this used to be my car, a buddy of mine owns it now, but it's been sitting for seven years. Today's gonna be the first time it's been washed in seven years, so. Sit back and enjoy. The car makes a drastic transformation just from washing, and we do a three-step paint correction afterwards, so some really impressive results to come.
What a world of difference just a simple rinse job did. Look at all the crap that came off the windshield. There's still just a layer of like thick dirt on it, but it comes right off. Oh, I'm really curious to see how this thing cleans up. I think there'll be hope for it. I really do. I lost one of my tail light covers. Seven years in the sun. Makes sense. I'm actually going to grab a bucket and wash it real quick so I can pull it in the garage and do some test uh, some test uh, panels with it later with the buffer. So let me grab a bucket and some suds.
car's never been properly cared for. The extent of my washing it when I owned it was whatever AutoZone sold as a wash, either a sponge or a microfiber mitt, um, going in the backyard, no top to bottom, left to right. It just was wash the car. Some scratches I don't remember. Probably from being moved around, bumped around. Tires don't hold air. Paint cleaned up really well. Really well. Curious to see when we get some compound on it, what it looks like. I'm gonna hit it with some, I guess this is detailer lingual fallout remover. 
Uh, basically, I'm going to wash it in acid real quick. Try and get as much iron out of it as I can before I clay bar the car. So, I'm trying to beat the sunset. I want to get it in the garage so I can dry it off and uh, do a couple test spots on it tonight before I really figure out what the recipe is going to be for the, the three stage or two stage, depending on how quick it comes back. So, let's get it sudsed up with some uh, acid and get it cleaned off. Theoretically decontaminated. It's starting to look better and better. Man, can you tell where the tires are leaking? No. All right. Trying to figure out a good combination that's going to work with the Trans Am. A lot of oxidation on the paint. Um, I have a feeling a lot of this is going to come out. I'm going to actually start with a Meguiar's wool cutting pad and chemical guys v34 uh, I'm just gonna do a mow down pass clean the pad kind of assess how far that got me I expect to have to do a three-stage correction of this um, just think there's a lot of material that's gonna need moved but I got the tape here we're gonna try and do a quick 50 50 and just see how far the first layer is gonna go um, just kind of curious so we'll work it in slow and we'll take the speed up to medium, do a quick mode down, we'll run the speed up all the way, and we'll kind of emulsify this um, polishing uh, compound to make sure we get the most out of it. When it starts glistening and you see the oils, that's kind of when I know it's broken down and there's no more grit in it to cut with. So we'll spread it around on low, work it in on medium, buff it out on high. <laughs> 